Well, hello everyone. You're here to show you the show and tell story of uh, coloring right here, coloring activity. Let's talk about what the dinosaur is talking about right here. Is for number two, and then uh, you know, if most of us, you know, maybe you remember whenever we were in school about it's like you know how we were able to write the, a number two, or it could be as I say, you know, for number two, and it's like you say for the Roman. Uh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> of course, I pretty much you know learned to. Say knowing about exactly what these, uh, you know, what that meant, you know, for number one or number two. It's like you know that type for that type of uh, a spelling. But uh, other than that, it's talking about it's like what you call, you know, it could be part two, it's like, or it could be it's like you know, so far as is the story, uh, the, the story, you know, random, you know, continues or anything like that. But uh, other than that, it's talking about right here. It's what I talk about was with the dinosaurs and. Um, and of course, this could be like what you call a show and tell type project right here. But of course, it's to work with the blue, and I went ahead and added like what you call as a dinosaur egg. And uh, a lot of times, with most kids, if like if you were to do like a, a project in school, it is uh, talking about it's like you know, how the dinosaurs reproduce it is. And then uh, you got the dinosaur egg right here. And uh, which most of us, if we all remember, you know, from the movie, you know, The Land Before Time, it is The Land Before Time, or it could be, you know, the movie Dinosaur, it is, is knowing about it. It's like, yeah, that, that it, you know, besides, you know, Dimitri or anything like that, you know, those, those characters that, you, that we remember from The Land Before Time, is knowing about whenever they would, you know, steal the egg, and then, of course, you know, that they would, they would steal them, you know, just, you know, just eat them or, you know, anything like that. And uh, but you have right here is the eggs and and the, the dinosaur egg and then of course it's knowing about you know talking about is like you know anything done anything that that's done by you is considered treasure it is knowing about is like the details I went and colored in with the dinosaur right here and of course about what it eats and but on the other hand too is that the the details that uh, I would you know probably would like to talk about knowing about is like you had the dinosaur right here and then of course is that you know the, the colors I went and did you know part to part crayon and part marker it is and I usually use it's like a the you know part you know marker it is you know so that way you know kind of if, if it were like paint then more likely that you know if I want to go ahead and maybe you know add the, the sun in there if I want to go ahead and add the, the sun then it would dry out and then go ahead and and if I want to switch you know from a from marker to crayon is like you know give it a few seconds you say just to dry and then go ahead and just you know add some detail right in here for you know strike for the sun that the sun will be peeking out you know right through here it is but uh, it's like if you want to add like you know maybe some details in the background such as a waterfall or, or whatever but uh, but I am uh, but of course you know the type of show and tell activity I'll be doing right here of course is talking about is like what you call is is the ground is it the details about the landscapes you know it's like of course you got right there is the dinosaur fossil you know anything done by you is considered treasure it is that uh, that you know be a uh, you know of course was not even looking at no pictures I mean that's kind of surprising that knowing about the kind of of uh, detail that I put into this picture right here is knowing about that you know that I did not even look at no pictures like I usually do whether I'm doing you know, any type of artwork it is is knowing about the types of details and I'm putting into it uh, such as uh, you know that the colors and um, of course you know it could not be you know all green uh, all within about maybe a few feet you know from the dinosaur but uh, you, know, you know just put a little bit of green right there and then of course you know, add some purple but uh, and then on your hand too that if you if you don't know uh, exactly where to begin you know on a if you'll be doing a research project you know, such as like on a calculator knowing about how much time you have to work on it on the project it is that uh, a lot of times with uh, most kids would probably say that uh, that yeah that that you know that if they got a homework assignment that is due by next week or whatever I'll just wait until next week to do it but on the other hand too that uh, I guess I, I remember it said on a few of the schoolwork papers that I remember seeing Whenever I uh, was in high school, was that that's what the, that's what study hall is there for? It's like knowing about if kids you know, have any have any problems, you know, understanding about what they what they're supposed to do with their schoolwork. It is and you know, go ahead and bring it into it uh, into the study hall, uh, you know, time, you know, study hall or advisory class, and then they'll have a, a teacher that would uh, help explain a little bit. But 
On the other hand, too, that you know, if anything that's going to require a computer, of course, more likely you could probably think about is that uh, that yeah, that um, that you know, anything that's going to require a, uh, a a computer, anything like that, more likely you know, would be it's like knowing about hey, you know, that, that that's the assignment you got to do. But other than that, it's like talking about a show and tell and show and tell part two color.